USA builds newest unstoppable hypersonic weapon. Currently, the most pressing arms race is related to hypersonic weapons. These weapons can deliver conventional payloads while moving at speeds and altitudes that allow them to be undetectable by current anti-missile systems. It's an arm race in which the United States is trailing, China and Russia have already developed and fielded hypersonic weapons. The arms race no longer drew the attention they received during the Cold War. Regardless, at any given time, every modern military engages in various arms races, whether they are trying to maintain air supremacy or defending against cyber intrusion. Currently, the most pressing arms race is related to hypersonic weapons. These weapons can deliver nuclear and conventional payloads while moving at speeds and altitudes that allow them to be undetected by current anti-missile systems. This is an arms race in which the United States is falling behind, China and Russia have developed and fielded hypersonic weapons. However, in recent months, the US military has awarded several major contracts to develop offensive and defensive hypersonic weapons capabilities. These contracts will position the US to potentially take the lead in this arms race. Hypersonic weapons have revolutionized missile technology. Traditionally, nuclear or conventional payloads were delivered by ballistic or cruise missiles. Ballistic missiles are launched by rockets, then follow a direct parabolic trajectory, making them easy to detect, track and destroy. Cruise missiles are launched from land, air, or sea platforms, and are propelled by jet engines. They fly at various heights and can maneuver around obstacles, however, they move slowly enough that they can be targeted and destroyed. The hypersonic weapon combines the speed of a ballistic missile with the maneuverability of a cruise missile. Similar to cruise missiles, they can be launched from a number of different platforms and can fly low enough to avoid detection from satellites tracking ballistic missiles. In addition, they can maneuver at speeds in excess of 10,000 miles per hour, exceeding the capabilities of the tracking systems used for cruise missiles. Several countries have developed hypersonic weapons capabilities. China is developing the DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle, which can reach speeds of Mach 10, carry a nuclear payload, and carry out precision strikes. The Russian military is developing the Avangard missile, which is released from an intercontinental ballistic missile and can reach speeds of up to Mach 20. The Russian military also has the Kinzhal missile, which is launched from the MiG-31K or Tu-22M3. These weapons can reach speeds of Mach 10. While there is some doubt about their actual speed, range and capabilities, all of these weapons are meant to be ready for use by their respective militaries. Meanwhile, other countries are developing their own hypersonic capabilities. India, in collaboration with Russia, is developing the BrahMos-2, which underwent testing last September. Japan is also working on hypersonic missiles specifically intended for anti-ship purposes. Several other countries, including France and Australia, have programs to develop hypersonic weapons. The US currently has no hypersonic weapons and no defense against hypersonic weapons. However, last week, the Union Army awarded Lockheed Martin LMT plus 1.5% contracts and Dynetics to provide ground-launched hypersonic weapons to unspecified units at the end of the fiscal year. The unit will receive the weapons for training and integration purposes, with payloads expected to be delivered by 2023. While this timeline is aggressive, it leverages years of technological development from collaborative efforts between military, industry, and government laboratories. Last March, the Pacific Missile Range Facility in Hawaii successfully demonstrated a medium-range hypersonic weapon. Moreover, last December, the United States Air Force successfully tested a hypersonic weapon launched from the air. Thus, many of the challenges associated with this endeavor are related to the transition of technology to industrial production. Another set of contracts awarded last month by the Missile Defense Agency to L3 Harris Technologies and Northrop Grumman NOC plus 1.4% to develop a prototype hypersonic and ballistic tracking space sensor, HBTSS. The HBTSS will consist of a constellation of satellites in low Earth orbit that will be able to detect, track and distinguish between low-flying and maneuverable hypersonic weapons. This contract includes the launch and test of the HBTSS in orbit in July 2023. The HBTSS is part of a much larger effort by the Space Development Agency, 
which will eventually consist of hundreds of interconnected satellites that can detect and track a variety of missiles. HBTSS is an important first step in developing defense capabilities against hypersonic weapons. If all of these efforts are successful, the combination of these defensive capabilities with new offensive hypersonic weapons could allow the United States to leapfrog China and Russia in the hypersonic arms race. However, the arms race is unpredictable, especially given that China and Russia will also continue to develop new hypersonic capabilities.